Yo, 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 what the fuck is up, guys? This is your boy, Darian, coming at you with episode number... 9, I believe. Yes, 9. We're gonna go with 9, and if I'm wrong, you know, whatever life goes on. So what is up, guys? It's been a while since I made my last Let's Play. I'm sorry about that. I've been very busy. Uh, I got I got my first ever, by the way, full-time job. Uh, which is not surprising, I'm only 19. However, I got my first ever full-time job making... I won't say how much I make a year. However, it's a good amount. And uh, Destiny got her first full-time job too, about a month ago. So, you know, living large, living good. Uh, I'm also going to school, studying law. So, you know, my time has been a little bit spread thin. However, I'm still making time, etc. But I won't be able to do... 120 hours like I was before, just that ridiculous shit like that. But anyways, yeah, basically, sorry guys, but I'm back. Uh, episode 9, here it is, and let's get into this shit. So, basically, while I was gone, a few things changed. As far as, uh, not only in the department, but also, uh, laws... Etc. Like the same king uh, is now an illegal car. The king. What a what a license plate. What a license plate. The king. The king. Did I did I do that wrong? Is it with an L? Might be with an L. No. The the king. Okay. Uh. Well. Premiere. One. Wait, oh, what is that? Oh, a comet. So, basically, the Sand King is an, is an illegal car now, uh, to drive within the city, at least. And, uh, if you're caught driving it, you can be fined sorry the the mask caught me off guard i i actually don't know who this is looks Actually, seeing that Gordon McNally just PM'd me, um, I think this is Lula. I might be wrong, because that's not the skin that Lula wears, but I, I think that might be Lula. Andy, okay, no, it's probably not Lula. I don't know who it is. <laughs> uh... uh I forgot to enable my name tag, sadly, so I don't know who this is. Oh my god, I'm gonna crash with this going on. Hold on. Let me turn that off. Okay. And he does have a gun. Um, and it is, it's an M4. Oh, it is Lula. Okay, I was, my name tag is working. Uh. I could, it's not metagame to say that I see the M4, because unless he stored it in the trunk, I could see the M4. He's not, he can't hide it in his pocket, but I'm not going to really ask, because that's just sant mechanics. Um, somebody actually asked me why I didn't do anything when I saw an M4. <clears throat> So basically, uh, the reason why I pulled these guys over is they were stopped in the middle of the street and they weren't moving, which is blocking a lane of travel, which is a ticketable offense. I'm probably not going to give them a ticket for it because they were probably just typing something, but um, I've had a lot of run-ins in the past when I was the chief of police with Lula. She was actually wanted uh, multiple times. And I'm pretty sure you're gonna see that when I pull up. Wow, when I pull that up, yeah. See, chief, chief, chief. Oh, money van rental wanted suspect for murder. So, 
uh, I had weapons license revoked. Yeah, I had a few run-ins with her in the past months ago. But, um, so, we're not going to give her a ticket. It wasn't really that big of a deal. Just stop and, you know, find out what's going on. Um, so, yeah, basically, uh, back to what I was saying, Sand Kings are now illegal, so if you're caught driving one, you can be ticketed, you can't, uh, you can be detained, you won't be arrested, okay, um, but you, you can be detained and your Sand King can be impounded. Um, I want to remind everyone that you can't shoot people, uh, hands Lula her ID back, you can't shoot people for, uh... Oh my god. For towing your sand king. You can't to you can't shoot at people for towing your car. So if PD is impounding your car, you can't shoot at them. I want to remind everybody of that if you're watching that. I am All right. And so I'm going to cut it here and I'll start back up uh, <laughs> waves to YouTube. I'll start back up when I get the next thing. Okay, so the next thing didn't take that long to get up. There is a emergency call. Shots fired in Ganton over here. I'm going to be responding. It looks like somebody did something. I'm guessing, yeah, those are detectives. I remember seeing them in the Let's Play. Um, so, hold on. I have to fix the CLM. So, yeah, we responded to that. Uh, and hold on. So, basically, another thing that, um, that I was... <laughs> just like that um, another thing I was asked to uh, talk about uh, which I'll touch up on I'm not gonna go too much into detail because that is kind of my personal life and I said that I wasn't gonna talk too much about that however um, another thing that people asked me to talk about was how I met destiny and uh, I'll just say a few things like I already said, I'm not going to go too much into detail. However, um, I'll just kind of touch up on it really quick. Um, some rumors. Did you meet her online? Yes, I did meet her online. That is true. Um, I actually met her on, uh, on Xbox, to be exact. So, um... Yes, I did meet her online. I met her on Xbox. Sorry. Oh my god. What happens when you decide to itch your ear? Um, I was playing Xbox and we just kind of met up and started playing. And I mean, there's not much really much. Uh, I, after we met, we kind of just never stopped talking. And, you know, after like a week... We ended up finding out that we live in the same neighborhood. <laughs> or, well, not in the same neighborhood, but in the same city. And uh, from there, it just kind of, you know, it went from an online relationship to, you know, me taking her out to the movies every week. And then it just, you know, it, over years, it, it blossomed from that. Uh, 
So that's how I met Destiny. To, to answer your question, really touched up and simple. Like I said, I I'm not really gonna go into super super details. You know that is my personal life. But um, yeah, that's kind of how I met her. So yes, I did meet her on Xbox. Um, how old am I? I'm 19. She is 18. Um, she moved in with me. Uh, three days after she turned 18 and I already had a house I I had a house or well an apartment when I turned 19 I had been saving up from my first job as a um, independent contractor for TSS photography uh, basically I I was a pedophile and took pictures of little kids, but no, 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 that's a joke. But, um, no, the job was to, uh, you know, if you're a little kid and you're into sports, you get those portrait photos and stuff. That's what I did. I took, I took pictures of kids that won, like, the baseball little league championships and stuff like that. And uh, that was my job. So we're going to transport this guy right here. Uh, we're going to transport this guy real quick uh, I don't know what his charges are and uh, yeah we'll go from there alright so we're arresting this guy and shots are being fired again so we're gonna have to deal with this as well um, I don't know who is shooting I don't see it. Oh, it's PD shooting each other. Okay. Um, anyways. So, I thought that was an actual emergency. Uh, so, so we're gonna take this guy. He's getting booked for assault. Uh, and I'm gonna end the video here. Uh, that's really all... I had to talk about for this episode. Um, I know I know somebody wanted me to uh, talk about why I got kicked from PD. I'll make that its own episode because that's going to be at least a five-minute talk uh, with explanations and you know clearing out assumptions and stuff like that. So hope you guys enjoyed. This has been Let's Play Episode Nine, and yeah, this has been Darian. Take care. Fuck yeah. Peace.